uh, we continue to make a conversation uh, about the call to be ambassadors of peace, to be those that will stand in the gap, to those who will be honored to be called the sons of God because we made peace. I want to challenge every pastor, every bishop, every servant of God across this nation. My challenge to you pastors is that if in your area there are any chaotic situations that take place, rally leaders around that community, call the press and condemn it immediately. And if you know the people who are the perpetrators, please do not hesitate to condemn. Because that is what peacemakers are called to do. And I am very, very clear in my mind that those of us who take leadership, particularly as uh, the leadership of the Kenya Conference of Catholic Bishops, the National, uh, uh, the National Council of Churches in Kenya, the uh, Evangelical Alliance of Kenya, and I'm part of that, and even, uh, you know, the Kenya Council of Church Alliances uh, and Ministries, we just have to be those that will advance the agenda for peace in an aggressive way. And we should not spare to do that. Why? Because if you read the book of uh, Exodus chapter number 32, verse 9 to 4, uh, you will realize uh, how Moses stood in the gap. And the Bible says, I have of these people, the Lord said to Moses, and they are a stiff-necked people. Now, leave me alone so that, the, uh, that my anger may burn against them and that I will destroy them. Then I will make you an, uh, into a great nation. But Moses sought the favor of the Lord his God and said, very, very important, this is the role of an ambassador to stand in the gap. Moses said, Lord, why should your anger burn against your people whom you brought out of Egypt with great power and a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, it was with an evil intent that you brought them out to kill them in the mountains and to wipe them out of the face of the earth. Turn from your fierce anger, relent, and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember your servant, Abraham, Isaac, Israel, to whom you saw by your own self. I will make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and I will give your descendants of this land, uh, I promise them. So, notice, God uses language that reminds the people of Moses' actions centuries before. Moses was an intercessor, and I believe all of us. One of the things we appeal and we keep appealing uh, is that we make intercession. From where I stand, we in Deliverance Church, we, we are praying and we will continue in prayer. I personally uh, manage a prayer call that is released to our leaders about five in the morning, every morning, five days in a week, Monday through Friday. And we still to encourage you to, con to, to continue to pray. And I, 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 have, a, a very, I have conviction in my heart. Those who will try to create crisis because how, for how much prayer is going on, because of how much God loves a nation, God is going to displace any leader who will attempt to create crisis for the people of Kenya. And therefore, if you want to be safe, be careful the way you conduct yourself. Because God loves this nation. Kenya has a prophetic destiny. And you need to fear God. Don't fear people. You know, one of the problems we have is that there are people who are so afraid of others. Please, fear God. The Bible says, fear God, honor the king. 
And that is why I condemn with my strongest words those that point fingers and talk carelessly in reference to the head of state or even his deputy. No matter what you think about these people, God has positioned them. And they need to be treated with respect. And whatever a man soweth, that he shall reap. If you don't learn how to respect people, you will never, never attract respect. So it's a decision you make. But remember this caption. We're talking about becoming ambassadors of peace to secure our nation in what may turn out to be a volatile times because of the way politicians try to, to outdo each other. But I remind them as well, your hate speech won't help you. In fact, most of the Kenyans now are educated. They have a degree of education. So they will deal with you contemptuously for your careless and reckless talk against your opponents. Learn from the past. See the problems we went to in the past because of reckless talking and let us shun it. And I want to encourage uh, the, 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 the instituted office of the National Cohesion and Integration uh, can, uh, Council or a group to, to be able commission, to do what you know is your work and hold to account any person poisoning the minds of people through reckless talk, get them to your office, warn them, and if they are chargeable, look for ways of where they can be held accountable. Let us do everything to secure the peace of our country. Lord, I thank you for these captions that go out there. And uh, I pray that God, there'll be more people who will be able to connect and subscribe to hear these messages and pass them down so that this peace we talk about will become a reality in our countries in days to come. In Jesus' name. Amen.